Hello, friends. Okay, we're ready to play a subtraction card game called Target Practice. You'll see me here separating the cards. You need to take out the kings, queens, jacks, tens, and jokers. You'll see me doing this here. The only cards you will need are ace, which is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. As soon as you've separated the cards, you're going to need to shuffle them a few times. And I'll just finish separating these quickly and then do a quick shuffle. Now you'll need to choose the two top cards and that's going to make your target number. Here you can see that my two cards have made the number 88. The player who is the closest to 88 will be the winner if you're playing with more than one person. Now I'm going to draw four cards. Each player will take turns drawing four cards if you're playing with more than one player. You'll see I've got an ace which is one, five, another one, and a four. Make sure to choose a larger number and then a smaller one to go underneath because we are subtracting. For this I've chosen 51 and 14. 51 take away 14. 51 take away 14 equals, we're not sure yet. Okay, the first choice is an open number line. You can try this. First I write my number 51. And then I need to take 14 away. First I'll take away a group of 10, which leaves me with 41. Then I'm going to take away four singles. One, two, three, four. And each one of those is worth one. So we went from 40, 39, 38, and finally, 37. If you're playing with multiple players, that would mean that player one got a number 37. You'll compare that to the 88, which is the target number. I can also do this with base 10 rods and ones. That shows 51. Now I need to take 14 away. Hmm, I can't take four away from one because there's not four there. Hmm, I guess I'll have to borrow from my tens and regroup. So let's take 10 away and then we're going to add in 10 singles or 10 ones. There we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. 51. Now I need to take away my four and take away my 10, that's 14. I've got 30. Seven, the same number that I had before. Another option is just your standard subtraction. This is what your parents would probably have done when they were kids. First I'm going to take a group of 10 from my 5 because I can't take 4 away from 1. So I move it over and now I've got 11 and then I still have 4 in the 10 spot. 11 take away 4 equals 7. Now 4 take away 1, or 4 subtract 1, equals 3. It leaves me with 37, the number I've got for the others. So we know this is correct. Okay, now it's player 2's turn. Select 4 cards. and flip them over. We've got a four, a three, 
a 9, and a 9. That person might choose mm, 93 as their first number and 49 as their second number. 93 take away 49. And you'll see me writing that down here. You could be doing the same thing. It would be a good idea to keep track of the numbers that you've subtracted to show your work. Okay, let's start with an open number line again. We start with 93 and we're going to take 40 away first. We could do this in groups of 10. 93 take away 10 equals 83. Another 10 would be 73. Another 10. 63, 10, 20, 30, okay, another 10 would be 53. And now we've got nine left to go. You'll see me holding up my nine fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps. Each one is worth one. And then you'll just write your numbers in. 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, and 44. Forty-four. That's the number that player two got. Let's try this in a different way this time with base 10 blocks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And three, 93. We can't take nine away from three. There aren't nine there. So we're going to have to borrow from our neighbor. Head over and take away a rod of 10. And you're going to replace that with 10 ones. 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. You'll see that you still have 80 10 in the 10s and 13 in the 1s. So it adds up to 93 still. Now we're going to take 9 away from the 1s and four away from our tens to represent 40. 49. Now what's left? 10, 20, 30, 40 in our tens and four in our ones. Good. The same number that we had on our open number line. Finally, we'll do the old fashioned way. We're just going to do some borrowing from our neighbors. We can't take 9 away from 3, so we're going to have to borrow from the 9 in the 10's place and make that an 8. Move the 10 over, and 3 turns to 13. Now we can subtract 9 from 13 to get 4. And simply, 8 subtract 4 equals 4. Great, 44 again. Remember that our target number was 88. Player 1 had 37. Player 2 had 44. In round 1, player 2 has 1 point because they were closer to 88. You can play this for a few more rounds if you'd like. 